Welcome everyone to the another video on labeling series where we are going to solve an example related to the height of instrument method of labeling. So let's solve this example. In this example, we are being asked to determine the reduced levels of three points A, B and C. The staff readings at these points are taken from the station point O. All the staff readings are given. The staff reading taken at the benchmark. The reduced level at the benchmark is also given. Before solving this example, to better understand, it's important to sketch the scenario. So let's consider this surface as a surface on which the instrument was placed and these three points were observed along with the benchmark. So let's say this is the point where the instrument will be placed, point O, and these are the points on which the reduced levels are being calculated. So placing the instrument at point O, as first we have to aim the instrument towards the benchmark. Let's say the benchmark is over here. The reduced level at the benchmark is given and we know that the reduced level is the elevation taken from some datum point. So let's say this is the datum where the reduced level was measured. So elevation up to this point is 30.2 meters. The staff reading was also taken at the benchmark. So placing the staff at benchmark and determining the staff reading, which is 2.54 meters. As we are determining the reduced levels of these points using the height of instrument method, therefore the reduced level of the axis of instrument should be determined first. Since the reduced level of axis of instrument is actually this one. So from our previous videos, we have discussed that the reduced level of the axis of instrument is being calculated by simply adding the reduced level of the benchmark plus the staff reading taken at the benchmark. So reduced level at the benchmark plus staff reading at the benchmark will give us the reduced level of the axis of instrument and on doing calculations it is 32.86 meters. Since we are being asked to determine the reduced level at point A, so let's come back for the calculation of the reduced level of point A. For that first we have to place the staff at point A and m towards point a to determine the staff reading first and the staff reading at point a is given which is 3.24 meters so now for the reduced level of point a we know the reduced level of the axis of instrument which is 32.86 meter it means we know the reduced level of this line and we will be moving downward by a magnitude of 3.24 meters to know the reduced level at point a so therefore, we will subtract this 3.24 from the reduced level of the axis of instrument to get the reduced level of point A. And on doing calculations, it is actually 29.62 meters. Moving on, we have to determine the reduced level at point B. For that, again, we will be using the reduced level of the axis of instrument. And as we have shifted the staff to point B, First, we have to take the staff reading at point B and it is given which is 4.61 meters. So for determination of reduced level of point B, we will first take the reduced level of the axis of instrument and then we will subtract the staff reading taken at point B which is 4.61 and on doing these simple calculations, we are going to get the reduced level at point B as 28.25 meters. In a similar way for the determination of the reduced level for the last point we have to shift the staff at point c to know the staff reading at point c which is known to us that is 5.78 meters so using the similar strategy we will determine the reduced level of point c first we will take the reduced level of the axis of instrument and since we are moving downward so we'll subtract this staff reading at taken at point c so on subtracting this, we are going to get the reduced level at point C as 27.08 meters. So this is how the calculation for the reduced level for various points are being calculated. When the staff reading at these points is given, the location of the instrument is also given. The reduced level of benchmark is given. Staff reading taken at benchmark is also given. So this is one of the method of determining the reduced level, which is height of instrument method. In next coming video, we are going to solve the same example using rise and fall method and we will compare the results whether we are going to get the similar results or not. So this is all from this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in next coming videos. Till then, thank you.